For any case where you would normally use a global variable, consider instead using an object-oriented approach. Structure all your variables inside a structure and then pass a pointer to that structure as a first argument to every function that operates on that structure. I call this pointer always self. This is my name for this pointer, but other people choose to use other names, such as, for example, me. There is a misconception that this approach is slow, but this is only a myth. The compiler will do a pretty good job of optimizing the code, and the tiny price that you pay for a few extra move instructions will pay off big time when the code is easily maintainable, it is re-entrant, and it is very reusable. Place the initialization and the deinitialization of every object in a single place. This usually means that you need to have a method called init and a method called deinit. And you would typically write these methods with names that are prefixed with the object type. So it would be, for example, uh, a gpio underscore init or uh, the name of your module underscore init and the same for the init. I use probe and remove here because this is a module. This makes your code very clean and very easy to understand. One of the biggest benefits of C language is that it is verbose. Use this to your advantage by making your code so easy to read that one would not need to look up the function calls that you're using. It will be apparent what they do from what you have written. If you like this video, then subscribe to my channel and share this video with everybody you know.